KRCW Los Angeles. The news just in of a grisly homicide in Redondo Beach. Sonia Jacobson is live at the scene. That's right, Nick. I'm here in Redondo Beach where the LAPD are investigating the murder last night of 22-year-old Lisa Gonzalez. They're not confirming any details, but officers I've spoken to are saying that it has all the signs of a serial murderer they're calling the window killer and would bring his known tally of victims in the Southland over the last two years to 15. That nickname, by the way, is because he takes his victim's eyes with him as some kind of sick trophy. I'm being told now that the LAPD are going all out to find this maniac as we roll into the holiday weekend. What the fuck? Civilian. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Jeez, what the fuck are you looking at? Move on, asshole. Can I help you, sir? I'm here to make a deposit. All right, five minutes, folks. Final weapons check. Oh, man, we did that already. And we'll do it again. Echo 3 is a soft target. There's no guards, skeleton staff, handful of civilians. Nobody is getting shot today. So I want safeties on, chambers empty. We might as well go in with squirt guns. Hey, you know what? I got a butter knife in my pocket. Try to see chill the fuck out. I'm afraid we're not accepting deposits. Actually, as you can see, we're, we're closing down. Didn't you get our letter? I don't get mail. I see. Um, what about her? Well, she got our letter. We've asked all our customers to come in and empty out their boxes. What if they don't? Well, the feds come in and they take everything to a secret storage and, and then they trace the owners. I don't want that. Most of our customers feel the same way. But it is procedure. Why don't I take my stuff now? Well, you would need to have the letter. I told you. Yes. You don't get mail. Um, do you have ID? I have this. Well, Reverend, I'll tell you what. Uh, come over to the counter and, uh, I'll sort you out. You go hot in five minutes. Masks on. Somebody wake up Biggs. Okay, here you are. Can you have that back? So, how long now? Uh, just a few moments. I'm sorry again, Mrs. Waxman. I know this has all been very inconvenient. I'm afraid that that's not good enough, young man. I have had an account here for 50 years. That is no way to treat a customer closing down like this. Well, times change, I'm afraid. Uh, we're all very sad here. Now, if you want to take a seat, I'll call a cab to take you home. 
Fuck you. Danny. Yes, sir. The Reverend would like to empty his box. Is he on the list? Well, he didn't get the letter. But I, I processed him, and he's, he's set to go. It's all very irregular. Mm -hmm. But I suppose it'll be all right. Uh, you can take him back as soon as I finish with Mrs. Gowen. Yes, sir. I need to do this now. As I'm sure has been explained to you, it's one at a time today. So if you don't mind waiting your turn. I'm sure you won't mind if I go first. Um, well, I've been here for hours and I'm almost late for my Pilates class, so. Um, okay, if it's that important to you. And are you sure? You see? She's happy that I go first. Okay. If you'll follow me, I'll take you back. After you, sir. Process of closing up, so that's why I'm sorry about the mess down here. Watch your stuff here. Been uh, making here long? This is. There's nothing here for you. We're closing down. E everything is gone. Not everything. You know who owns this place. Of course we do. Let's have the fun. Sit down. What do you want me to do about them? I don't know. Gonna behave? Listen, young man, I wish you'd get on with whatever you're going to do because I don't want to sit here all day. Yes, ma'am, we'll be as quick as we can. Cuff him. Hey, get your hands off me, bitch! Are you fucking talking to me, bitch? Where's your phone? 
I left it in my car. Oh yeah? <laughs> okay. Listen, I've been tied up by better people than you. Oh Christ, old lady, it's not a fucking competition. <laughs> Where's your phone? Well, baby, I haven't had one for years. Living in the dark ages. I'm all set here. Echo 5, is that everyone? We're missing two, boss. Two males. Employee, civilian. Where are they? I, I, I don't know what you mean. Stop wasting our fucking time! Okay, sir. A little stuffy in here. I switched off the AC last week, so. Do you have your key? Okay. I've got it from here. I'm supposed to stay with you. My possessions are very personal. I'd like privacy. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. It's procedure. Stay here. Sure. What did I tell you? The sky is messing with us. Next one goes in your head. Where are they? In the back, in the vault. Are you looking for me? Oh, shit. What? Sorry, Danny. You weren't supposed to be here. Paul? What the fuck, man? Yeah, what the hell is going on here? Should I tell them? This is my brother, Danny. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's been a few years. Yeah, I thought I'd never see you again. We took different paths. Thought you had the day off. Check the rota. Yeah, well, assistant manager got sick, so I picked up for him. Is everyone okay? This is why no. I I I really need to go home. Please help me. Absolutely. I'm sure we all would. Look, this nice little family reunion, it's really fucking touching. But now what, Paul? Nothing changes. Stick to the plan, we're gone in 10 minutes. Everything's fucking screwed up. You took off your fucking mask! Your face is gonna be all over the 10 o'clock news, and then how long before they figure out who the fuck we are? They shut off the cameras last week. Isn't that right? You're welcome to leave. And give up my share. <laughs> You'd like that. Well, then I suggest that you shut up and do your fucking job. <clears throat> We're still missing a guy, boss. Any idea of this, Danny? He's in the vault. Okay. Echo 3, get to the vault, secure the guy, do your thing. Echo 5, get some cuffs on Danny here, and then you and Echo 4 get everyone in the back room. Stick to the plan, people, and we're out in 10 minutes. Walkie's on channel six. Hey, 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 don't worry. When we're done here, I'm taking care of business my way. Hey, Paul. Take a walk. We're all set, boss. All up. Oh. Run on a walk. Well, that was fun. Guess 
we don't need these things anymore. Damn thing is damn. This room here. In. In. Come on. Oh. Pick up your pace. Let's go. Right now, everybody, sit on the floor. Down. Not you. I cannot sit on the floor. Will you get the fucking old batter chair? All right, here we go. You're a nice man. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, you're a real boy scout. There's nothing wrong with being decent to people. You should try it. Says the armed robber. Shut up. You, mate. What's the story with you and your brother? Well, you'd have to ask our parents about that. <laughs> oh, you think you're smart, don't you? Yeah, with your stupid fucking little pie and your stupid fucking hairdo. You're not going to feel very smart when this is over. What does that mean? What she means is you won't be leaving any witnesses. Oh. What? Whoa, whoa. The boss said... The boss? The boss is a fucking wuss. Tracy's going to handle things from here on out. You just used her name, Allie. Jesus. I mean, I go for Yeah, well, like the man said, it really doesn't matter, does it? Happy? I'll sit the fuck down! I didn't sign up for this. Oh, yeah? Well, you just better figure out whose side you're on. This is bullshit. You know it. Echo 3, you in the vault yet? Yeah, I just got here. There's no sign of the missing civilian. What do you want me to do? Keep on looking? No, we could search this place forever. We need to be out of here. Just get the stuff. Copy that. Echo 6, status report. Echo 6, status report. Fuck. All clear. Echo 4, status report. We're having a party back here. Jeez, Echo 4! Jeez, you fucking self. All secure, okay? Copy. All clear. Quite a degree. How much longer? Not much longer if she's as good as she says she is. I don't know about a girlfriend, but she's pretty damn good. How's it coming, Echo 3? Probably listen to the dumbass music. Echo 3, pick up your fucking radio. Helps the focus. Echo 3, fucking status report now. Echo 3, status report. Do we do it? Not yet. Echo 3, can you hear me? Why the fuck is she taking so long? Maybe she isn't so good after all. Fuck you. Language. Ah! 
I didn't know we were at fucking Sunday school, you old fucking prune. Listen, you may be gangsters, but at least you can show some common decency. Hmm? Gangsters? What the fuck is this, 1936? Don't be a bitch. Uh, Sorry. I'm gonna smoke. Ah! Uh, not in here. Jesus, woman! Stay focused. It's not like they're going anywhere. Come on. I need your phone. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. It's in your back pocket. I'll give it right back. Come on. Okay, fine. Just... What are you doing? I'm texting 911. I didn't even know you could do that. What if they come back? You're gonna get us all killed. Get... You shut up. At least he's doing something. You're supposed to be the manager here. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cullen, but this is all very irregular. All right, let's get back in there. Gotta move on. Never mind. You know, chicken and extra avocado? Yeah, and you know what? Can you throw on some extra chilies there? Oh, you like the chilies? I huh? like the chilies. <laughs> That'll be uh, 1520, please. 1520? You kidding me? When Wolfgang Puck finally going to the taco business? Hey, Puck off, lady. Look, I'm just trying to make a living, man. Hey, how about a little less lady? It's detective to you. Oh, oh okay. Well, it's still 1520, detective. So why don't you detect that money while I get your order? Cool? You're a fucking comedian, aren't you? One William Six, one William Six. <gasps> Hello? Yeah, Mr. Puck. Yeah, this is one William Six receiving. Possible 211 in progress near your location. Okay, got it. I didn't know there was a bank there. It's a safety deposit vault. It closed down two weeks ago. So who called it in then? It was a text to 911. Are you kidding? You can actually do that? You are directed to attend the scene and evaluate the situation. <laughs> um, you know what? Send a black and white over and show me responding. Roger that. One William Six, be aware this has been assessed a prank call. <sighs> okay, I'm on my way. William Six out. Hey, the burrito detected! Oh, I'm gonna So that's what a hundred million looks like. I'm all done here. I got the stuff. About fucking time. Fuck you too. Where did you come from? Clever fucker. Paul? I found our missing civilian. Okay. I'm on my way. Copy that. You're not going to tie me up, are you? Hell no. 
We're gonna do this my way. No witnesses. You could just let me go home. I have what I need. Yeah, what's in there? Just some personal items. Nothing of value to you. I'll be the judge of that. What the f- guys out of kindergarten? Whoa. Everyone's out looking for that Windows guy. We got this. You got your bachelorette parties? No? I'm going in. Come with me. With pleasure, detective. Who the fuck are you? Fucking hide, hide, get out of here. I just nicked your radial artery. I estimate you have about nine minutes to live. If I were you, I'd contemplate what you want to do with the rest of your life. Good afternoon. I'm Detective Pascal with the LAPD. Got a report of a robbery at this location. A robbery? That sounds serious. And who might you be? I'm the assistant manager. As you can see, this branch is uh, closed. We're just uh, backing things up. Rather near to rob. Jesus. You're the fucking windows killer. Leave Jesus out of it. Would you mind if we came in and took a look around? Ah, uh, company policy. Sorry, you'd need a warrant. Well, not if there's a crime in progress. Well, like I said, there's nothing going on here. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, the uh, call came from inside this location. Really? I don't really see how that could have happened. Well, it was a text, so. Well, <laughs> then it could have come from anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's funny. I'll just show you. See? Hey. Thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> See? I just severed your femoral artery. You have three, maybe four minutes to live. I'm no doctor. <laughs> Your heart is actually pumping the blood out of your body. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. This is a beautiful time. These are the last moments of your life. What does it feel like? What does it feel like? Do you feel the joy? May I see? May I see? Guys, the cats are coming. Guys, he was fine. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me, boss. You need to see this. Oh, shit. How are you doing? Hey, uh. You missed a spot. Um, uh, sure. uh, can I help you? To get out of the van, sir. Whoa, whoa, uh, look. Uh, like I... Step out of the van. Come on, please, give me a break. It's not a request. Out of the van. 
shit, she made Rick. Let me help you. There you go. You have the safety on. Now try it. Cover me. Morons, they're to be dead. On the radio. This is one William Six. Shots fired at this location. Officers need assistance. Copy, clear. Okay. You're gonna be okay, buddy. Jesus. How's it look? No good. Him up, but... Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's going on out there? We heard shots. Ah, the cops are here. Christ! It's okay. They're outside. We're inside. We planned for this. It's chill. Put your hand up. Biggs. Yeah. It's time. I could do. He needs the hospital. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, you stay here. Just keep watch. If we start killing cops, we can get messy. Shit's already messy. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the vault and sort this shit out.
getting jumpy back here. What the hell is going on? Cops. They shot Rick. What the fuck? Somebody must have made a call. A call? Oh, that fucking Danny. I knew he was up to something. I'm gonna kill him. Best not to, okay? We need all the hostages. For what? We're making a last stand at the fucking Alamo here. No. We need time. Time? Time for what? They just got a plan. I always got a plan, AJ. What's in your bag? What do you mean? Wait, what about Tracy? Did she get the stuff? Better ask Paul. He's looking into it. Looking into what? What the fuck, Biggs? Screw this. We should rush him. Are you kidding? Well, he's got shotguns in the car. Yeah. Would you guys have, like, a death wish or something? There's at least three guys in there with M4s who aren't afraid to use them, and probably more inside. Not to mention an unknown number of hostages. God, what did they teach you about hostage situations at the academy? Deploy overwhelming force? Yeah. yeah. You two don't look so overwhelming. So what, we just sit here and wait for backup? Like, you guys want to be useful? Why don't you go check the perimeter, see if there's a back way out of here? You can handle this alone? Probably feel a little safer, actually. Okay, we're on a detective. Great. This is Detective Pascal, robbery homicide, badge number 5397. Go ahead. I want to text you a photo for facial ID. Copy that. All right, thanks. I'm sending you out. Who are you, mister? Heads up, heads up, everyone. I'm in the vault. Tracy's dead. What do you mean, Tracy's dead? I mean dead. She's been fucking killed. She's in the vault with me. Who did it? Best guess is it's the guy we never found. I think he's moving around in the air vents. A whole place like this, there's a whole network of them. They're plenty big enough. Well, then let's go fucking get him. Negative, Hallie. We don't have time for a wild goose chase. We fucking killed Tracy. Okay, well, we can get the guy or we can get out of here. We can't do both. I'm sorry, but that's the choice. Now that we know what we're up against, we can stop him if he tries anything. This is so fucked up. We're bottled up in a fucking bank. What about the stuff? Are you serious? That's the fucking reason we came here, isn't it? I've got the stuff. That's something. So now what? We go to plan B. Biggs is already working on it. Need a couple hours. In the meantime, stay frosty. May only be one guy, but he took down Tracy, so he's no pussy. And one more thing. He's handy with a knife. He's some kind of sicko. He gouged out Tracy's eyes. Keeps getting better. Uh, what? 
I, I need to go to the bathroom. Well, you're just going to have to hold it, you old bag. No, I mean, I really need to go to the bathroom now. What, you forget your diapers, did you? Bitch. Come on, guys. What harm can it do? He's right. I think we're going to be here for a while. Damn it. Come on, Grandma Moses. Where's the bathroom? It's all the way down the hall. Take a left. Move it! Come on! Anything up? She keep her head down. Any more cops? Not yet. Well, she'll have called for backup, so it'll get busy soon enough. She's really fucked up, ain't it? Yeah. But we still gonna get out of here, right? Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> what? Was you two separated at birth or something? Nope. We're actually really close. We grew up together. Happy family. So what happened? You joined the military? Same unit? No, we uh, deployed at the same time, but uh, I was in the Corps. Danny, he was always better than me at everything, so he ended up in the Rangers. Well, you go in as brothers and you come out as what? Enemies? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on, man. You ain't got nothing better to do for the next hour, so go ahead, humor me. Other than dodge a fucking psycho serial killer on the list? Yeah. There's that. <laughs> Wait, this is the men's room. So take a fucking dump in the urinal, fucking bag. Thank you. Oh. Fucked up shit. At least I know I did, and I, I think Danny had the same, maybe worse. We both came back in one piece, but uh, you know, something like that changes a man. A lot of vets are really fucked up in the head. Me, I just learned that life is short and crappy, and you gotta take what you can while you can, you know? That's the life of crime. Yeah. And your brother? I guess after all the mayhem and chaos, he just wanted something structure in his life, a little bit of order. Did he know about you before today? No, no, I don't. No, nah, not really. He, uh, he knew I fell off the map. So let me get this straight. Why are we out here doing all this felonious bullshit? Your brother playing superhero, holding back the tides of chaos. Yeah, I never pegged you for a philosopher, but yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we're two sides of the same coin. <laughs>
I don't think they're coming back. Shut the fuck up. I've been gone a long time. Something's moving around up there. You don't know shit. I know you need to keep your eye on that bend. I know you need to shut your fucking mouth and let me handle this, okay? I'm just trying to help. Boss. Thanks, update. I'm about done here, machine room snack. Time. I'll know when I get there. Took you long enough? Yeah, we had to stop for donuts. So, what do we got, Detective? Well, we've got multiple perps with automatic weapons. We know how to use them, too, so I'm thinking some kind of military background. Possible hostages. Any comms? No, not yet, but I did talk to one of them. Yeah, I know. That photo you emailed really got him excited at headquarters. The feds are taking a big interest in these guys. What are they doing here? AJ, Ali, update. This is AJ. What is it? Allie's gone, man. What do you mean, gone? She took the old lady to the bathroom. Now you're telling me. Hey, guys, I think you're going to want to come in here and listen to this. So I've been scanning frequencies in case they're using radios. Hey, I'll put it on speaker. Yep. OK. OK, AJ, sit tight. Uh, we're getting out of here. We'll find Ali after, OK? Sit tight. We're being picked off like flies here. We've got to do something. Like what? There are four of us and one of him. We've got automatic weapons. He's got a fucking knife. Be patient, AJ. So I'll be over soon. All right. But if he does one more thing, if anything else happens, I'm going after him. I'm mean, on your eyes, man. It's fucking disgusting. You don't think? This is LA. Nothing shocks me anymore. Talk to the cops. Hey, detective! What's this? Looks like you need to go and talk to him, detective. <sighs> Last time that didn't go so well. Well, then it sounds like you've already got a rapport. You surrendering? We need to talk. I'm unarmed. All right. So why don't you tell me what the hell's going on here? We got hostages. How many? Well, I can't tell you that. How many are you? I can't tell you that either. Wow, that's great. Quite the turnout you got here. Yeah, when the LAPD gets its head out of its ass, we throw a real good party. So, we have demands. I'm sure you do. I'll play. 747 at LAX. Space shuttle, maybe. <laughs> Just a school bus. And a medic for my guy. You have two hours. School bus. Where to? I can't tell you that. No, of course you can't tell me that. So what happens if we don't? When we start shooting hostages. Yeah, I don't really think you're the type. You don't know my type. I'm guessing you served. Core. You? 
My husband. He didn't come back. IED out of Baghdad. I'm sorry. Which is why I don't understand why guys like you do bullshit like this. I mean, you made it back. You should be doing something good. You know, we all have our reasons. Sorry about your friend. Yeah. I'll work on getting you a medic. Thank you. And what about the bus? What do we get? Well, you give me the medic, I'll start releasing hostages. Fair enough. I'm gonna go back inside now. Semper Fi, detective. <sighs> Big status update. It's gonna be a few minutes. All right. We need to get the hostages ready. Go we'll help AJ bring them down. What about Ali? Hostages first, then we look for Ali. Okay. Hostages first. Hey, detective, uh, we're out back, but there's no doors, just a window. Is it big enough to get through? Um, I'm sure we could work it out. You know what? You guys stay there. If this thing goes off, you might need to go inside. Roger. AJ! In here. Get him on his feet. Up. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Come on, move. Let's go. go. For a walk. Let's go. No ideas, okay? I guess you talked to Paul about me, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not the same. Yeah, I got that. You were with the Rangers, right? Once. Yeah, so you got that field medical training. You can stitch, right? Sure, but... So when I get your ass downstairs, you're gonna take care of my boy, right? Gunshot? You gonna take care of my boy, Rick, or not? You got a trauma bag? I got a first aid kit. Well, then he needs a hospital. There's nothing I can do. See, that's the wrong answer. When I get your ass downstairs, you gonna take care of my boy, Rick. You gonna stabilize him. Now, they sitting in an American. That's what you gonna do. Let's go. Move. Let's go. AJ. I'm a medic I get with the bus. Yeah, seems too simple. What's your take? I think they're up to something. I just get the feeling we're about to be had. What is this? It looks like the feds are crashing our party. Captain Franklin. It's Detective Pascal. She was first on the scene. I'm Sinclair. This is Chen. These two, Smith and Jones. Where are the others coming? We're it. One team, one crisis. That's not SWAT protocol. We're not SWAT. Then who the fuck are you? Detective. DOD. Contractors? What the hell happened to SWAT? SWAT is who cops like you call when you get into trouble. Who do you think SWAT calls? I just smell the testosterone from here. Let me tell you what we got. I know what you got. You got him. You know him? Been chasing him for years. When your detective sent the photo through for ID, all the lights went red. So here we are. All right, Chen, you go up high. Up there should be good. All right, Chief. Smith, you're it. Two minutes. Jones, you're with me. So what is a master criminal doing in a rinky dink dump like this? I mean, the place isn't even open anymore. You don't know, do you? There's 100 million in bearer bonds in a safety deposit box. It's cartel money. Doesn't sound like a cartel operation. It's not. Our guy's been making a career ripping off the cartel. Must have a death wish or something. Anyway, this should have been an easy job for him. Something must have gone wrong inside. Our lucky day. Yeah, about that. There's been a development. I'm listening. There's a possibility there's a wanted serial killer, Windows, operating on the inside. Sounds like he's taking out a couple of your man's crew. And you know this for sure? We intercepted their radio traffic. Good we, to go, Chief. We heard they want a medic inside. Smith's going in. Hey, now, wait just a minute. This man is wanted by the LAPD. That makes this an LAPD operation. 
I'm not going to stand here and argue jurisdiction with you, Captain. You don't have positive confirmation that this Windows guy is even in there. And the radio calls you heard could be deliberate misinformation. What I know for sure is that there is a very dangerous armed criminal inside. And your men do not have the training or equipment to take him on. We do. You got a problem. Take it up the chain of command. Until then, this is our operation. Clear. Fine. Have it your way. But this is still a joint operation. Detective Pascal will act as liaison. Get me headquarters. Welcome aboard, Detective. Move! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Let's go, let's go, come on, come on! Move, move, move! Not you. You and me. Go. Sit down. Don't fucking move. There he is. He's over there. Stitch. Washington. Sinclair. Must have been the picture the detective took. Shit's about to get interesting. Yeah. So what's the plan? Smith will go in as a medic and get into him. Chen will take over, watch, and shoot out bad guys once he gets a clean shot. Jones and me will breach. What about the hostages? We don't know that there are any hostages. Smith will tell us. But it doesn't matter a whole damn. We're going to breach anyway. This is pretty much the worst idea I've ever heard. It's going to be a bloodbath in there. You're playing with the big boys now, detective. This is how we roll. Whatever happens in there is on you. Damn right it is. What happens if Windows is actually in there? It will take him down, too. He's our caller. I'm going in with you. Then you better get a vest on, detective. Sorry about this, man. You should have thought about that, sir. Best laid plans. Boss? You might want to come see this. Here we go. Uh -huh. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You are? The medic you asked for. No, you're not. You're Sinclair's guy. AJ, take this medic to the back room. You don't understand. Yeah, I do. We've all read the same manual. Get upstairs, fuckface. Let's go. Move! Move! Hurry up, asshole. So what's the next play, Danny? Why should I care? Come on, you used to be good at this stuff. They're gonna breach. They just sent a real medic otherwise, man. We need to get him up. He's barely breathing. He's better off out there than he is in here. Hey! He's like you're going home. Come on. I got you ready. Come on. Come on. There you go. You okay? Hold him steady. Let me take care of him. Captain, we got you some hostages. Team two, go get them. Everyone else, cover. What about me? No, you we need. in the back and tell me what you can see. Yeah, we're on a detector. What, what, what if we make contact? Observe and report only. Do not engage these guys. Do you hear me? Observe and report my ass. Yeah, fuck that. We're going in. Get down. One, two. 
That's true. Now you listen carefully. You want to live, you do everything I say. Yeah, yeah, tough guy. Shut the fuck up and stand right there. Fuck you. Fuck you. You do everything I tell you and you won't get killed. Sit down! Move! How you doing up there, Ken? Found my spot. Setting up now. Copy. Let me know when you're ready. I could kill you with my fucking teeth. Oh, that's great, because I can kill you with my fucking gun. On your knees. Hello. I said on your knees, asshole. I just need a moment of your time. If you take one more step and you die. Okay. Oh. You killed my friends. I saved them. You cut out their eyes. I just want to go home. You should leave me alone. Found an x-ray. Good shot. Stand by. You good? Let's go. What have we got here? Taking him so long. Thanks, TikTok. Two minutes. Yes. All systems go, boss. All systems go. I should kill you right now. Why don't you? I'm not a murderer. I'm not like you. We're all the same in God's eyes. Just fucking shoot him! I'll be with you in a minute. Shut up. Come on! Shut the fuck up! It took me a long time to understand that we're all the same. The street punk, the professional, like you, the cop, the banker. We're all the same. Sinners. And then God spoke to me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's he sound like? You wouldn't understand. It was like I suddenly knew what I had to do. You're fucking crazy. I've been told so. But you know what? Maybe I'm the only one who isn't crazy. Did you think about that? When God spoke to me, he told me to save souls, as many as I could. Does that sound like a bad thing to do? God told you to cut people's fucking eyes out? Couldn't just preach, join a fucking church? He told me the eyes were the windows of the soul. And it was my destiny to collect souls. You see, it's very simple. God just spoke to me. Out fucking time. Mm hmm. The x ray's about to execute a hostage. Green light. Repeat, green light. Say hello to Tracy for me. God protects those who serve him.
I just need a moment of your time. X-ray down, X-ray down. Time to settle up. Keep your men outside, whatever happens. Look, I don't know about this. Listen, it's gonna be crazy enough without your men blundering around. Just stay out of our way. All right, the things start going south, we're coming in. Fair enough. Ready? It's showtime. Hey, Paul, you still with us? That's you, Sinclair? Hey, you know this guy? We go back a long way. So our mutual friends and I were wondering, did you get the stuff? Oh, I got it. It's right there on the counter. So it is. It doesn't look like much. Well, it's all there. Shame you won't get to spend it. And you will, Sinclair? You bring up a good point. I don't think they'll miss it. What's going on, Sinclair? Just one of those macho moments you like so much, Detective. So, Paul, you know, the boys aren't too happy with you. Fifth time you've ripped them off. Six, actually. Trent, that was you. We get around. That's enough. Really? Until I figure out what the hell's going on, you're under arrest. I can see the wheels turning, Detective. So let me guess, you're not really DOD? He's cartel if you hadn't already figured it out. Is that true? It's a gray area, but at least you nailed a dangerous criminal. We only realized what was going on when you sent that photo through. So thanks for that, Detective. You're welcome. Calvary's arrived. Hey, detective. Just in time, boys. Like I told your boss, detective, stay out of our way. Jones. You don't have a fucking family. Drop it. Cool. Drop it. We can all get something out of this. We'll just say, uh, Paul got away with the money. We'll split it three ways. It'll be a pretty good payday for all of us. Good luck spending it in Folsom, asshole. It was just a thought. I wouldn't worry about me, detective. Give it up, Paul. It's two of us and one of you. It's time, don't you think? No, he's right. Well, you nearly did it. Yeah. 
Ten minutes in and out, it's supposed to be the easy one. A place like this, I didn't think they'd miss it. What was the backup, the elevator? How'd you know about that? I'm not an idiot, Paul. I read the building plans. But you got it working? Yeah, they burnt it up, but they left everything there. Smart. Not smart enough, obviously. No. Sorry, Paul. So this is it, huh? Yeah, worth the trouble, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Sorry about your brother. Go fuck yourself. I'm starting to see the family resemblance. But what are we going to do with you? If you're doing what I think you're going to do, I'm the least of your problems. But you can't be too careful. Chen. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. No. It was always closing on this Are you okay? I've been better. I got this, detective. Do me a favor. Go put a bullet in him. Absolutely. Danny, is that fucking you? Don't fuck with me, Danny. Danny? Danny! Hey! Who the hell are you? You're that fucking Windows guy. I just want to go home. I saw what you did to my men. You should leave me alone. Oh, yeah? Well, I think I'm going to do LAPD a favor. Please, allow me to explain.
of the body. So if your eye is healthy, you're all... Stop right there. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Looks like you and me had a pretty bad day, Danny. That Windows guy. It's a bit of a handful, huh? Yeah, not anymore. Good for you. So now what, Danny? You taking me in? Those are my orders. Your orders? You too, huh? Mustaches like this all over the country. There's always someone like me. Nearby, keep an eye on things. And you'd have stopped him? Your own brother? If I had to. That's cool. It's a lot of money, Danny. And then what? Like I said, there's always someone else. Someone like me. You shouldn't have killed Paul. It's a bad world all around. healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if the eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great then is the darkness? <laughs> 